at siya po yung magbibigay sa atin ng more information, more um uh, more uh, ka nga ay motivation. Ano ba yung mga naging journey nila dito kay Crowd1? Ayan. So, takikilala ko po siya, no? Siya po ay uh, at age of 19, siya po ay nag-abroad and he employed an international fashion uh, company. Ayan. So, grabe, ano? So, the, and after the completing the 10 years contract, nag-start nag -start po siya mag-establish ng kanyang resto bar sa Quezon City. And then, nagkaroon po siya ng barbershop and other traditional business, including yung kanya pong recruitment agency. Ayan. And, uh, Recording in progress. Na kanyang, ay ka nga, naging traditional business. Pero ngayon, kung kanina po, narinig po natin yung inexplain ng ating pong malupit na speaker, President 3 Star, magkano po yung monthly residual income. Ayan. So, may nakatanda po ba ng residual income ng President 3 Star? So, yung tatawagin ko po ngayon, isa po siya sa ating President 3 Star ang ating pong upline. Ayan. At dahil po sa kanila, ano, sa kanila nagsimula yung blessing, dumaloy sa atin hanggang nakarating kung saan saan na pong lugar, kung saan saan bansa, nang dahil sa kanila, uh, sabi nga, pagtatsaga at sa kanilang patience, of course. Ayan. So, tawagin po natin ano, ang ating President 3 Star, Sir Predelord, Austria. Welcome po, President 3 Star Predelord. Hello, good evening everyone. Ayun, good evening po. Hello, others uh, around the globe. How's everybody? Uh, I just got home, so uh, I rushed up to, uh, to meet this webinar with you. And uh, of course, uh, our uh, very own Rhea Kapili, the host, Monet Escalona, the presenter, Altea Miles, who invited me. Uh, he rushed up me. I mean, uh, <laughs> he just informed me... Uh, not ahead of time, but uh, I was able to make it. And of course, the uh, our very own uh, Eddie Onya, our director one star here in Crowd1. Uh, good evening, everybody. This is your president, three star. Uh, Fidel Lord, Austria, all the way from uh, Pangasinan. And uh, I, I, I have a business here uh, during uh, lockdown. So uh, I was able to establish some uh, businesses uh, uh, here in uh, Pangasinan. Uh, with the fruit of our uh, business here in Crowd1. Uh, but before I will start, I would like to say uh, good day and a happy Euros to everybody. Uh, your president again uh, is here to, uh, to share uh, his journey in Crowd1 and how uh, he started here in Crowd1, how he embraced uh, the uh, digital business uh, through Crowd1. And I'm very thankful and grateful to be here tonight to uh, share to you my... Uh, my uh, journey and how I was become very successful here in Crowd1 that we created a lot of successful in leaders here in Crowd1, not only here in the Philippines, but to the, to the whole world. Uh, good evening, everybody. And uh, thank you so much for inviting me here once again. And uh, to start with my, uh, my uh, life story, of course, at the age of 19 years old, it was said earlier that... Uh, I went abroad uh, at the young age of 19, but before that, uh, I, already, I, I have an experience uh, here in uh, the Philippines. I, I started working also here in Philippines at the age of 18 years old. I was already employed in Robinson's Galleria Department Store adjacent to the OEE uh, along EDSA Avenue, Quezon City. So uh, that is my first job actually, and uh, because uh, I'm thinking uh, before that uh, if you will stay here in Philippines, since you will go into... Uh, 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 to work here uh, for the rest of your life, uh, I, I, I believe that uh, uh, you, will, you will not have a, a better uh, future uh, in life. So, uh, all right, all right. Okay, uh, to continue, uh, of course, uh, when I decided to uh, went abroad, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still very young that time because uh, that, uh, when I was in Robinson's Gallery, uh, I'm thinking that uh, I cannot stay there for long in that uh, company. I cannot uh, work with them for a long time because uh, I'm thinking that I'm just uh, making them rich, even though uh, they helped me to have a job. 
to that company. I'm still thankful because uh, I was given the opportunity to work in that, that department store to have to gain experience in order for me to uh, uh, use it for my uh, next uh, job abroad, wherein uh, I'm already uh, uh, thinking to uh, to apply for an overseas that time. And luckily, I was able to. Uh, I was I was being hired by this international passion company. Uh, uh, which is based in uh, Middle East countries, including Dubai at that time. Uh, before, uh, I really want to uh, work in Dubai, but uh, the one who interviewed me, the Singaporean, uh, uh, the Singaporean uh, interviewer sent by uh, our employer, who, who is a, a uh, 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 Saudi and uh, uh, French woman, um, uh, he, he told me that uh, I, I got the job and uh, I will be assigned in Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, in particularly in Jeddah. Uh, I don't have I don't have any idea and uh, not familiar with that country, but uh, uh, I have the courage to accept the offer to uh, to work in the Middle East that time because uh, uh, we will be also working in uh, in, in 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 a department store and. Uh, it, it was uh, by the time it was newly uh, built in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia those uh, branches of uh, uh, numbers of uh, branches uh, scattered in uh, Middle East countries uh, so uh, one of our uh, branch in Jeddah I was employed there and uh, you know as an individual uh, uh, em employee I mean, uh, as as a Filipino, uh, you know, it's very difficult uh, to 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 be working and away from your family that time. So uh, at, at the very young age, uh, I, I I really uh, uh, battle my uh, my uh, homesickness, and uh, I was able to uh, perform my job in uh, in that country, and uh, uh, I give my uh, full uh, uh, full trust on myself, and uh, and. Uh, 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 to overcome the uh, homesickness uh, during my 10 years of working in that uh, country. So, uh, you know, uh, at first it's very difficult to adjust to a certain country wherein uh, uh, you don't know their culture and uh, you are uh, you have uh, something like uh, uh, you are being shocked with the uh, with what you what what we are or what you are in the country. Uh, working and living in uh, in other countries is a very uh, difficult uh, situation. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, OFWs uh, uh, can can uh, uh, no can relate uh, with what I'm telling you right now because uh, as an OFW, uh, you have to have uh, the the full courage and uh, you you I mean uh, uh, you will uh, you're going to. Uh, 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 struggle everything. I mean, uh, it's a, you know, uh, there's uh, a, a, a sacrifices uh, working abroad, uh, and you have to uh, to battle your home homesickness, and uh, of course because uh, you have a big dreams in your life. That's why uh, you have to be strong and uh, and uh, and um, uh, admit that uh, you are away from your family. So. Uh, 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 I was able to uh, uh, to perform my job as a as a sales supervisor in that uh, department store uh, in Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and uh, uh, I was uh, I am I worked there as a sales supervisor, and uh, after my ten years working in that uh, department store, uh, you know uh, I'm very thankful that time because I was able to. Uh, complete my 10 years of staying with that country and staying with the company that I uh, that uh, I, am, I that I am working with you know uh, I, actually uh, I, I already completed my 10 years on that company and uh, you know with my uh, separation fee and with the money that I was able to uh, to save uh, so I decided to end my contract after completion of my 10 years uh, working in that company. And when I get, when I went back uh, from uh, the from Middle East or Saudi Arabia, um, I started. Uh, I, I I told myself that I have to uh, complete my 10 years and save money, and uh, I will start business in the Philippines. So I was able to uh, 
to do that, uh, when I came home, uh, coming from abroad for my 10 years of uh, working, uh, you know, um, I, I already started my uh, traditional business. Uh, when I come home, uh, uh, I established my uh, restaurant, uh, even a barber shop and a salon for my wife. And uh, uh, one day, I, I never uh, expect in my life that uh, I will be managing my recruitment agency. And uh, for for nine years now, uh, I, I have that uh, business with, with me and with my family. And uh, we continuously helping people uh uh to uh to have a full a good pasture abroad because uh, before uh i never uh, i never think that uh you know as an uh, uh ofw before now uh i am the one sending uh, ofw abroad see uh uh I, I you know uh you will never know you know you will never know what will happen next in your life you know i i before uh, I was only an applicant to the agency, but now the the applicant is applying to my agency, and I start uh, giving them a, a good pasture to work abroad. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I believe that God has given me and uh, put me to this kind of business and recruitment because uh, uh, recruitment agency is helping people to have a good pasture abroad, to look to have a good job abroad, yeah. and uh, 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 of course. Uh, our primary purpose is to uh, help our less uh, fortunate kababayan to work abroad, and of course, uh, uh, it, it will also uh, it, we will also earn from this uh, business. So uh, I'm very thankful because uh, I was able to have this business uh, uh, as well as the uh, traditional business that I, I was able to establish uh, uh, after my uh, after my. Uh, 10 years uh, working in, in Middle East country. And, uh, you know, uh, the business that we have, uh, uh, I'm very uh, thankful because uh, one day, uh, uh, although I have already a recruitment agency and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very much uh, contented and happy with what I am earning in my recruitment agency, but uh, there is another blessings that came into my life and uh, it was introduced to me when, uh, when my first time to... Uh, attend in uh, BGC, I, my first time to meet uh, these uh, European people at BGC and they introduced to us this uh, uh, online business that we have right now in Crowd1 and uh, right in there uh, by the time they introduced to me Crowd1, I never think, uh, uh, I never think twice and uh, I give my uh, full uh, uh, belief in, that com in this company that we had in Crowd1. Uh, when it was introduced to me that time, uh, when they discussed it to me, how it we're going to, to do this business and how uh, how we can earn from this uh, business that we're going to uh, uh, to start with, and uh, because of my uh, my hundred percent belief and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, belief on myself that we can do it, uh, I can do it rather. Uh, it did happens because my vision that time that this business that I'm going to embrace. Uh, will change the life of every individual who will believe in crowd one like me. So I told myself that I will, be, I will be victorious and will become successful uh, with with this business in crowd one. So uh, what I did, I let my secretaries to uh, to handle my recruitment agency, and uh, I started uh, working it out. I, I started uh, doing the business in uh, crowd one, and I start inviting uh, uh, more leaders and. Uh, uh, and an uh, individual uh, which I wanted to change the life also like me. So uh, what I believe, I already believe at first, uh, first time that uh, I, I, I've been able, I was able to know this uh, type of business that uh, they introduced to me. They told me that uh, this is uh, online networking, this is online business. So uh, what runs in my mind that time, that's why I give me 100% yes to do, to do this business because uh, we are on a digital. We are on the digital world right now. So uh, that is my uh, positive, positive belief with the, with this business and with uh, with uh, with our uh, with our company in Crowd One. So uh, right in there, I said yes. I want to join this company. I want to involve myself in this company, and I want to do this uh, business. And I will I will prove it to uh, everyone that. Uh, uh, I will be successful in this business. So some of my colleagues in recruitment agency surprised when uh, they, they heard that uh, I'm already uh, uh, I'm already uh, 
uh, starting uh, putting up some bad businesses and uh, uh, I live for a one recruitment agency and uh, start earning a lot of uh, money so uh, uh, it really surprised them and uh, for me uh, I'm very grateful and thankful and uh, uh, I just take it uh, I just take it easy uh, I I feel I, I was really, I was also overwhelmed with the uh, the, the income that I, I was able to earn here in crowd one but um, I can handle it uh, easily. I mean, uh, I even I'm or already earning in my recruitment agency, and it gives me more uh, money when I uh, when uh, I start doing uh, uh, I start sharing the business in Crowd One. So so uh, uh, every time there is opportunity uh, that will knock your heart and your door, uh, you have to grab it immediately. You have to will come in your heart, and you have to do it. And uh, and uh, surely uh, the result will follow. So any opportunity that will knock your door, open it. So don't lose the opportunity. Always uh, give your uh, best shot. Give your hundred percent best to do it. And surely you will become successful in Crowd One like us, because uh, Crowd One creates uh, more millionaires here in this business. So uh, never give up. Hold on to Crowd One. Whatever happens, we are all here. To do the business, and we will uh, uh, we will uh, hand in hand together uh, to uh, shout it to the world, to, to to spread it in the whole world that Crowd One changed the life of every individual who will believe in Crowd One. So, what are you waiting for? Do it. Uh, uh, the, just continue sharing the blessings of Crowd One to everybody. Never stop, and uh, uh, continuous learning uh, with this business will bring you on top and will bring you to the successful life here in Crowd1. Thank you very much, everyone, and God bless us all. Thank you very much, po, sir, Hello. Uh, <laughs> Freddy Lord. Ayan. Yeah. Thank you very much, po, President Three Star Freddy Lord. So, ayan. So, kung meron, lagi, lagi po natin sinasabi, ano, kung merong mga nauna, meron pong mga susunod. Ayan. So, we are pray and uh, we uh, we always uh, sabi nga uh, praying that uh, sabi nga marating din natin ko no po yung mga narating ng mga nauna sa atin ano so thank you very much po uh, president three star uh, fede lord ano and uh, salamat po sa pagbibigay niyo po ng time at uh, kahit na po medyo late ano na na, na inform <laughs> na parang rush <laughs> po yung ating pag ano kanina ay uh, napagbigyan niyo pa rin po kami and I strike no? on the go <laughs> my support is all yours you know and i want to congratulate uh, all my leaders uh, uh, all the pioneers leaders that i uh, i was able to bring it here in crowd one especially uh the beloved pastor who passed away uh, oliver gangan uh, 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 mon gudoy and uh, his wife jole arshaga ariel cleto um uh, Jude, Judy Almoguera and uh, Ronnie Barrientos. Uh, so I, I am uh, personally congratulating them and uh, uh, they are ranking up uh, every day. They are doing well and uh, we are uh, sharing the blessings of Crowd1 to everybody. Don't stop to share the blessings of Crowd1 to everybody. True God to Crowd1, uh, we will be all together. Uh, we'll go on top. Uh, we, we must, we must uh, aim the higher rank in Crowd1, the ambassador three star. So uh, what you are today in Crowd1, whatever ranks you are, uh, definitely we will all together go to ambassador three star, okay? So never stop and uh, uh, don't stop uh, to learn the business and to share the business to everybody. 